everybody, it's Janine over at Slow Happy Vintage. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a vintage and antique collector and reseller. I deal mostly with jewelry, but today, every once in a while, I like to branch off and show you some other things that I find. I'm down at my barn right now, so if you hear horses in the background, they're wanting me to let them out. I made a recent trip to the Goodwill Outlet Store, which is also known as the Bins. And if you're not familiar with the Bins, it's basically the last ditch place where things go before they end up in the landfills or shipped to another country or whatever they do with the stuff that doesn't sell. Sometimes it's just overstock. If the stores are too crowded, they throw things into the bins and sell them at a discount. Other times it's things that don't sell at the regular stores. They're also sold at a discount. In our bins, prices vary. They do sell clothing by the pound, but all of the hard goods are greatly discounted from 50 cents to, uh, sometimes it's an arbitrary price. You stick a bunch of stuff together and they just say, okay, how about five bucks? Everything that I'm gonna be showing you uh, that I have in my car, the total cost was $30. And I'll let you decide, do I have a bunch of junk in the trunk or is it gold that can be sold? A lot of the things that I bought here, I'm just gonna be keeping. Like this framed print here, I will probably put this in my barn. I have lots of vintage prints in my barn. Same thing with this whiteboard calendar, that'll go in my barn as well. A Couple of other things that I bought that I will be keeping. This little rolling cart, I'm gonna be using that in my barn as well. And this little display piece is something I'm going to be using when I take jewelry to vintage markets. It'll be a nice place to hang necklaces. So those are a couple things I'll be keeping. The rest of the things in here will most likely be sold. Let's see how I can do this. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and hold some items up and I'll do a voiceover to kind of tell you what they are and what I think I can sell them for. Here as I can tell, this is quite possibly a letterman's jacket from the 40s. I don't know the emblem on the front and I don't know the number, if it's a player number or a year. If anybody has any information on this jacket, please let me know. There is some wear to the tech and there is a mended area that I'm not very concerned about. So I have no idea on value on that one, but it should be pretty high. This is just a brown drip mug from the 70s. Pink is kind of an unusual base color, but uh, they, they do sell pretty well. These are finished cr cruel work pieces, and cruel work is making a comeback. They're selling quite well right now. They would be very cute in a kid's room. And sorry about my dogs. <laughs> There is some personalization on this one. I don't know if that will affect the price, but I kind of like these, they're very nice. This one I'm giving to a friend. It's a really cute little print. And this is just another needlework piece. I don't have information about this yet. I need to look up the artist. It looks to be original, but I'm not sure. So we will see on that one. Okay, the rest of the things I think I can just sit back and show you. I'm not sure what these sell for. I'm gonna have to look it up. This is just a 2015 holiday ornament from Starbucks. It's a little to-go cup with lips on it. And then this is a folk art pottery and it is a measuring cup. So I'll try to flash up a sold comp on the screen. We have a really cute Lennox vase. It's like a cabbage design, leaves. It is signed Lennox and made in the USA right there. Now all three of the, all four of these are Fiesta Wear mugs. And I realize Fiesta Wear does not sell that well anymore. I'm gonna have to look up the actual age of these. There are a couple of different ages and it's all based on the font of Fiesta on the bottom, the style of the handle. They charged me maybe a dollar for all four of them. And then this cute guy <laughs> is a stoneware mug. It looks like a Yeti of some kind and it's made by Skeletal Dropkick and these typically sell for around $20 to $30. And he is in perfect condition. Cute little guy. Well, <laughs> if you like little monsters. And here is just a studio pottery leaf design or flower design trinket dish. I just thought the design on this was really cute. It is signed Speckleware Pottery. I think the find of the day were these dishes. 
these are just saucers. I'll throw some comps up on the on the screen of these. This is a Ralph Lauren design. It's called Mandarin Blue. And when I saw these, I thought, you know, they look they look pretty nice. But then I flipped them over and I saw Ralph Lauren. And I thought, okay, I gotta run some comps on these. So I did. And there were three saucers. And I believe there are about 12 of these soup bowls. I have had really good luck selling china like this in the past. It's a bit of a bear to ship, but people are always looking for completer pieces to discontinue china, and Ralph Lauren is always a good seller. And once again, found at the bins. I think they charged me $5 for the entire set of dishes, the, the bowls and the saucers. And then the last thing I bought was an entire box of these little glass bottles. They have lids as well. These are perfect for when you're working with essential oils, um, making different sprays, different concoctions with them. And there's a whole set with little stopper lids. So there's a set of 12 of these, so I will use these. I might sell the whole box or I might use them for um, some craft purposes. So that is it. What did you think? Did I find some treasures to sell or would you have passed on all of this? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great week and we'll see you in the next video.